Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? I am Miss Wanda and I am here to give you guys a reading pertaining to the person who you are currently talking to who has not made a, a commitment to you yet who has not said will you be mine hmm. we're gonna find out what their intentions are we're gonna find out what this person did in their last relationship we're gonna find out why they work out we're gonna find out about this person period you know I'm nosy. <laughs> I'm nosy. So before I get started in this video, with this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Tap on that bell. Make sure you got it on all. Go do it now. Okay? Because I don't want to hear you say, Miss Wanda, I didn't get this video. I miss you again. And make sure you share this channel. Okay? Because somebody else need the news. Somebody need this tea. Okay? And if you're not watching Miss Wanda, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay? So we're going to get right into this. Okay. Okay. So when it comes down to your person that you are talking to now, okay, this person here is not really happy right now. This is not a happy person, okay? Um, this person here was already in a relationship, just coming out of a relationship. So you may want to kind of like slow down a little bit. I know I'm not supposed to tell you what to do. But you don't want to be a rebound. Boo. <laughs> okay, I'm just playing. Gosh, this person is not happy right now, okay? They're not finding any joy in life. They're not finding anything that brings some pleasure, that brings some excitement. They're still sad. They're down, okay? Feeling careless, like they've been doing some things that just been careless. They've been very careless, even when it came down with their money, even when it came down to the to their love. One able to make things happen. Okay, look like they lost their passion as well. Remember, I told you this person they ain't happy. They're not happy because they weren't able to make things work. It was things that they enjoy doing, even when it came down to being with the person that they love, also helping other people. And it's like they lost that passion and that desire. Yeah. They're not happy at all. They're not doing things that bring them pleasure. They're not doing things that make them happy. Okay. Woo. Also, when it comes down to it, it's like your person here is not accepting responsibility for their well-being. They're not taking the blame. They feel like it's not their fault. They're in this position. Okay, they feel like this. they're in this position. They're in this situation. They're feeling this way because of their ex. Mm. Child, please. They're going to blame it on somebody. They say, I can't blame it on alcohol, but I'm going to blame it on somebody. I'm not going to take responsibility. It's not my fault why I'm dragging. It's not my fault why I'm not happy. It's not my fault why I am not doing the things that I enjoy doing. It's my ex fault. <laughs> okay, you better stop. <laughs> This person here got a whole lot of guilt too, okay? This person is like, I need to release my beliefs, my thinking process. I need to uh, release it. It no longer serves me purpose. It no longer assists me. It no longer helps me. Okay, so it's like I need to get rid of this guilt because this person is holding on to a lot of guilt. Okay, they got a lot of guilt and shame. They are so hurt and ashamed and um, embarrassed. They hold on to a lot of guilt. Look like they so used to having stuff and doing things. Okay, but they got they kind of guilty. Look like people are talking about them, picking at them. Making them seem like they are a fool or they're crazy because they're not with their ex. Like, how can you uh, be on top 
and then get in a relationship and just crumble. So some people just don't understand the dynamic of love. Okay? But this person that has not made a commitment to you has a lot of guilt that they're holding on to and they're unable to express how they really feel. Okay? Um, I don't want to say that you've been an outlet to this person. But you know what happens when you end up communicating and talking to someone who has been in a relationship and y'all just uh, started talking. You make yourself the rebound or you friend zone yourself. Okay, so you got to be careful with this person here because you will be able, you may end up friend zone. Okay, it's like this person here will have a lot. This person will have more. Okay, and it's like they understand that they have and they are a, a limitless being. Okay, as in there is no limit to the things that I can do. Okay, I can have more. I can have it all. They can manifest some things, whatever it is that they desire. Um, now they can make it happen. This person know that. But they're going through some things right now because of this past relationship. This past relationship really knocked them down, but they know who they are. Okay. And it happens. It happens sometimes. Sometimes you be in a relationship and you put your all into it. Then y'all end up breaking up. Now you're sad. You're not able to get up and go to work. You want to lay down and cry. You want to ball up. You don't want to do nothing. Okay, so just that type of situation here. This person know that they can get up and make some things happen. They know this. But right now they hurt. This person hurt. So you got to be careful. Okay, because like when it comes down to um, this person who hasn't made a commitment yet, it's like they are trying to let go of their ex, but they can't. They can't. They can't. That's why you have to be careful because you can't end up friend zoning yourself. Okay. Um, not only just friend zoning, but you become a rebound. This person was really in love with this person that they were with. It was like that was their true love. That was who they wanted to be with forever. They're not together right now. They not together, but they are really in love. Okay. Mm, they feel like they ex was their true love. How do you fit in with, with that? How does that work? They've been dragging their feet on making a commitment with you because they still in love with the um ex. They haven't really let them go. They trying. Okay. And that's why you may end up friends on yourself because they trying to get over this person by talking to you and dealing with you. Then your head going to be all wrapped up thinking y'all together or thinking that this person want to be with you. Child, please. This person is always thinking about their ex. Even if y'all do get in a relationship, they will never forget about this ex. They will never forget about this one. This person here left an impression on them. What in the world did this ex do? What's the secret? What's the secret? Put in the comments and tell me. Mm -hmm. He's not in love. His heart is broken. He's not even ready for love. I'm sorry, y'all. 
All he want to do is be happy. He's not going through a lack right now. This person is not going through a lack. They're not going through a lack. They have things. They got money. But they don't have a lot. They still hurting. They not even ready for love. They not even ready for a commitment. This person is not feeling you like that yet. This person is not in love with you. This person got to come up with some kind of plan on getting from wrapped up around this person because they are all tied up in their ex. Now they need to make a decision on what it is that they really want to do because their emotions are all over the place. Okay, and they got to learn how to balance that emotion. They got to make a decision and they're very indecisive. Very indecisive. They don't know which way to go or what to do. They need help. Listen, I sell soap, okay? And it's on sale for $38. Look like there's some roadblocks there. You get your soap and you can remove those um, roadblocks. You'll be able to make a decision. Things that are holding you back from making a decision. You need balancing with your emotions. Get a soap. I see you moving on from this person. I don't see y'all being together. I don't see y'all being together at all. For one, you're going to have to really look within yourself and see what it is that you need to change. What it is that you need to work on in your life. Because it's no peace or no romance, no relationship going on with you. Okay, so you've been sitting here thinking that y'all are in a relationship when this person haven't even made a commitment to you. So it's like you need to look and you need to check yourself out. Why are you um, in a relationship with somebody who is not even in a relationship with you? Somebody stop me. <laughs> You're trying not to think about this whole situation because it is on your mind. You'll be thinking about this at times because when you be communicating with this person on the phone, it's like, listen, why you zoning out? You ain't hear what I just asked you. What you thinking about? What's on your mind? You be thinking about the same thing. You don't want to deal with it. So you be trying to avoid it. You don't want to ask the questions. You around here trying to avoid all the red flags. Okay. Trying to throw in all of this here doubt. Maybe this. Maybe that. Boo. This person is still connected with their ex. Okay. Connected with their ex. You... Need to forgive, let go, and let God and work on your heart and work on yourself. Okay? I see you um, making some things happen in your life, focusing on your life, focusing on you. Okay? Some of y'all going to end up pregnant as well. I'm not saying you're going to be pregnant from this person, but I am going to tell you, I do see you being pregnant. Okay? Getting pregnant this year. Okay? But it's like focus on your goal and focus on yourself. Make yourself a priority. Manifest some good things in you. Okay? Bring some things in reality when it comes down to your life. Why are you picking people that are already hurt? Hurt people attract hurt people. So you're going to really have to get in there and do some work on you. Okay? 
I do see you being happy as well and getting in a relationship. I do see you having fun and celebrating with friends also um, in a way of you not getting jammed up in this situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna get to the point that you're gonna have you gonna make your mind up as in you know what you can't make a decision. I don't want to be a rebound. I don't want to be um friend zone. So it's like you're gonna make a decision to, to walk away. You moving on from this person. Not only that, but you may end up changing your address just to keep this person, just to keep this person from around you. Like you are going to finish the things if you have started. You got so many other things to do with yourself and your life. So yeah, you got to make up your mind. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You got to look at yourself and see why you peak, why you keep picking hurt people. Okay, why why I keep picking hurt people? Why I keep going through this whole situation with somebody? What's wrong with me? Why I just can't pick somebody who gonna love me for me? Who who gonna come with come to me with without the baggage? Where they at? Well, boo, you got to work on yourself. Why you keep picking the same people? Cause you that type, you that person. You still holding on to somebody too. Hurt people attract hurt people, and that's why you got to start manifesting some good qualities in you, knowing who you are. Okay, what you gonna? Let somebody friend zone you. Make somebody um put you in a category with just uh F W B. Y'all know what F W B mean. Okay? You gonna let them do that to you? You gonna allow this person to friend zone you after you don't went and put all of your heart into this person who ain't even got you ain't even this you ain't even got this person hard. They ex got they hard. They still thinking about they ex. I'm sorry. But this is not the person for you. You're not even waiting on God to send you somebody. You're not even waiting on the right timing for somebody to come into your life so that you may have love. This person here is not even waiting on the right timing at all either. They haven't even um, made any... Um, there is not even no romantic feelings there. Child. But you want to know what their intentions are. What's going on with them? I'm telling you everything. Mm-hmm. This person is not even waiting on God to send them or somebody, okay? They giving up on love. They giving up on love. You giving up on love. You ain't waiting. You just running for, to the first thing that come your way. This person here needs to sit down and actually talk to you. They got to be honest. They got to be true. They got to stop being real with you, okay? They got to really talk about how they really feel about you, what they've been going through. They got to be honest, honey. Don't come sitting over here in my face playing with me. Don't play with me because your heart broke. Now you want to break my heart too? You crazy? If you don't get off my line and go heal yourself, Mm. Know that you deserve love, okay? You deserve love. Know who you are as well. Don't allow yourself to become a victim because of this person here. They got so many emotions and emotions just running all wild and carrying on. Now they're going to bring all that negative stuff over there to you. I know they be lying. Oh, yeah. I've been single for the longest. Stop that line. Oh, nah, they were cheating on me. Who cares? Mm -mm -mm. So you're going to have to make a decision. Okay? Because right now, they all over the place. 
they are all over the place, y'all. And it's like they need to pick, put the pieces together. They got to pick their pieces together. They got to put their life back together. And that's what they're putting all that energy into, getting their life back together. When I, I'm going to tell you this. When it comes down to their intentions, y'all, this person here is going to be going back and forth. So y'all got to have a conversation. You got to talk to this person, okay? Don't be trying to rush everything in three minutes or 30 minutes or in one conversation. Really pick this person's brain. Try to get in their heart. And find out what what's what's up. What's up? Because they're gonna be going back and forth. <sighs> Y'all, well, we found out. I know this is gonna be a stressful relationship. If y'all this this is something that's gonna be stressful. Cause it made my head hurt, honey. Feel like it's like little pea brain now. So y'all gotta get get it together. Find out who y'all are. Leave a comment down below if you made it all the way to the end. Spam the comments. Let me know you made it to the end by saying what love gotta do with it. And tell me what y'all what tell me do you know what F W B mean? Okay? Don't Mm, I was going to tell you what to do, but you know I can't tell you what to do. I could lead you to the water, but I can't make you drink it. Okay? So do you want to be FWB? You want to be friend zoned? You want to be rebound? You want to be dealing with this here back and forth situation? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. And y'all don't forget to subscribe and tap on that bell. Make sure it's on all. Y'all go over there and check it now. All right. Y'all know that God loves you. Jesus loves you. And I love you too. Pray for this person. Because they need prayer. So they can get over this hurt and this pain. Gosh. Mm-mm-mm.